Hey guys, it's John from Walkthrough Code. So uh, in the last video, we talked about how to customize uh, some of the nav bar and kind of give a little bit of an overview of how um, attributes and props and things like that work um, in React Strap. In this particular video, we are going to talk about uh, the grid system in React Strap and how easy it is to use. Um, and we'll kind of throw maybe one or two things on the page. Maybe we'll throw a card on the page or something like that. Um, just a heads up, there is a repo for this. So um, I will put the uh, link in the description below. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so here we have this layout here. Um, and it kind of shows us what we're, what we're kind of used to, right? Um, call SM4, call, uh, call 6 is a new... Um, B4 thing, but um, here's how it comes together in uh, in React Strap. Though this is fantastic, right? It's container row row call, right? Like this is great. Um, so it's actually really easy to put together. I've thrown together um, an app or two with this just to kind of mess around, and it's really really easy. Um, so let's go back and let's go create something like this, right? So I'm actually just going to steal, I'm going to steal this, uh, the container row call, and then I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it main area.js. And then I'm going to uh, generate a snippet that I made, super, super easy. Um, and then I'm going to call it main area. And then I'm going to paste this down here. So now I have access to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a container. 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 And then we see here, uh, let me change this to JSX. OK. Um, and so yeah, so we see container row call. So let's create one of those. Uh, we'll say row and then call um, and then in here we'll put some text and then let's see what happens here if we go back to app and then we import main area from main area and then we'll put this in here main area cool uh, if we go back and see if this is completely broken, nope, it's not. Awesome. So we see here, so this text in the middle is because of this app, uh, not index.css. We'll, yeah, we'll take this. No, you know, we'll leave that. Um, and then we'll, where is it? Uh, app.css. There we go. Get rid of this stuff. Okay, so now it's here. But we notice here that this is the container with the margins. And so inside of the React Strap, if we go down in here, we look, we see that there's a bool property called fluid. So if we go into main area and we into container, we add fluid just like that. And we go back out to our app. Oh, look, now those margins are gone. That's awesome, right? That's just super, super easy. Um, if we go down to row properties, we can take out the gutters. How much of a pain was that? without this. Um, let's, let's do this. So here's something else cool. It will automatically calculate, because it uses Flexbox, it will automatically calculate um, the column, the number of columns and the width and things like that. So if we go back here, now we're call six and we didn't even have to say that. We can actually do that if we want. We could call this um, SM, um, and then we could say three and SM nine. We could totally do it that way. Um, and that'll, that'll work just fine. Um, but we can, yeah. So it's one of those really cool parts about, um, really cool parts about the new bootstrap is that it uses Flexbox. And because that uses Flexbox, we can, um, just put as many columns in there as we need and it'll automatically calculate for us, which may not always be the case, but it's it's kind of a nicety, um, in my opinion. Um, 
So if we go back over to React Strap and we kind of take a look at what's going on, we can we can look at the prop types for uh, for call. Um, yeah, I mean it just shows us we can use the XS, SM, so on and so forth, uh, things like that. But yeah, I mean really, really that's generally it for how this works. Um, I, th I was going to throw a card in here, but I think I'm going to wait till the next video um, just so we can kind of put, just kind of show how events and iteration and things like that work. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe so we can continue making more videos for you. Um, and I, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.